Hello my fashion lovers, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are going to be learning how to sew an Ankara gown for a baby girl. Please, if you have not subscribed, subscribe to my channel, click on the link button and also put on your notification bell to be notified anytime I post a new video. For this Ankara gown for a baby girl, we will be cutting the down part first. And the length of the gown I'm working with. The length of the gown I'm working with is 36. But it's going to have half length. So I'm going to remove. The half length is 10. And the full length is 36. So I'm going to deduct the upper length. Which is 10 from 36. So 36 minus 10 will give us 26. So for the down part it's going to be 26 in length. Plus one is sewing allowance. So for the gathers for the down part, it's going to be 27 in length. Then, to know the amount of gathers I'm going to cut, the waist I'm working with is 23. You can decide to do triple of it, or you can decide to double the waist measurement to get the enough fabric you're going to work with. For the down part of the gathers, this is what I have. I had to change the fabric. So I'm going to gather it. I'm going to gather it. This is like times four of our waists. Times four of our waist measurements. I'm going to take it to the machine. Draw gathers. And when you draw the gathers, the gathers should be to her waist measurement. Her waist measurement is 23. Then you're going to add one inch zip allowance. That is 24. So what you're going to draw for your gathers is going to be 24. You're going to draw it. It's going to, you gather it to 24. 24 of our waist measurement, 24. Let me gather it and show you. To cut the upper part, for you to know the amount of fabric you're going to put on fold, you're going to divide the biggest part of our upper part by 4. The biggest part of our upper part is 24. When I divide it by 4, it will give me 6. Give me 6. Then add your sewing allowance. So this is going to be enough. This is going to be enough for me. You put it on fold. So this will be enough. The length I'm working with for the upper part is 10 and a half plus half inch sewing allowance. That is 11. I'm working with 11. This is my shoulder point. So now, the shoulder I'm working with is 11. Divided by 2 will give me 5 and a half. Mm -hmm. So I will put it here. On this, I'll come down by half inch. I'll take half inch here. Whatever I have here, what I have here is 5. We impute six as her armhole measurements. Put six. On the neckline, I'll be taking two and a half inches. And the down parts, I'll be taking also two and a half inches. Now connect. And I'll connect the shoulder slope. Connect the shoulder slope. On the bust point, what I'm working with is 24 divided by 4 will give me 6. 
plus one inch sewing allowance. The waist is still the same, 24, divided by 4 will give me 6, plus 1 inch sewing allowance. I'll connect. I'll get the middle of this place. And I'll connect to the armhole. That is it for the upper part. Now I'm going to cut. Please like and comment on my video. And with this, I will use it to cut the back part. The difference between the front and the back is just zip allowance. I will just include one inch for the zip allowance. And I will cut the back. For the back, I want the back neckline to be a little bit high. This is the, I took one inch for the zip allowance. And for the back neckline, for the back neckline, I will take one inch for the back and I will connect. Now cut. Now I'm going to open up the zip allowance. And I will mush to know where the Zip allowance will start. Now I'm going to cut the line the same way you cut this fabric. That's the same way you're going to cut the lining. I'll finish cutting the lining. So what you are going to do is to take it to your machine. We are going to be using inseam finishing to finish this. Inseam finishing. So what you are going to do is to take it to your machine. Join lining to lining and fabric to fabric. Take it to your machine. Join it on the shoulder. Join it on the shoulder. The same thing you do on your fabric, that is the same thing you're going to do on your lining. Take this to your machine, join it only on the shoulder, join it only on the shoulder. Let me join it and show you. I've joined it on the shoulder, you join only on the shoulder, you join on the shoulder. So what you're going to do next is to use your lining right side, let's say right side, use your lining and sewn. You're going to use your line to sew the neckline. Do not sew your zip allowance. Do not sew the lining to your zip allowance. Sew only the neckline. 
sew only on the neckline. Do not sew your zip allowance. Sew only on your neckline, top stitch, then sew your armhole. Sew your neckline and your armhole. Sew your armhole. Sew your armhole. And also sew your armhole. Now, after sewing everything, this is what we have. The neckline, leaving your zip allowance. The armhole. Now we're going to turn it. Turn it to the right side. Now we're going to turn it to the right side. Turn it to the right side from the front. Take it from the front. Then pull it out. See what I'm doing. Pull it out. Do the same to this side. From the front. Pull it out. Make sure you press it, iron it out, iron it out, and this is what I have, this is what I have, now, this is what you're going to do, you're going to bring the front and the back, only the main fabric, bring it, Hold it like this. Take the lining, the lining and the lining together. Now, you're going to stitch with the allowance that you left. I put one inch in allowance, so I'm going to use just half inch to hold it. The same thing with this side. Bring your lining together and your fabric together. Then, you're going to use your half inch to hold it. But before I do it, I'm going to cut my belt. I'll cut my belt, attach it. I'll cut my belt, attach it before I Close it up and join. Let's cut the belts. For the belts, I'll be taking, for the east side of the belt, I'll be taking 26 inches by 3 inches. 26 by 3. So I'll just turn it. Going to sew the back parts. That is the wrong side, so it's and for this down part, we're going to give it a curve, give it a curve at the down part. That is a shape. I'm going to give it a shape at the down part. I'm going to take it like this. The same thing with the other side. I'll give it a shape. Then you sew and turn to the front. After sewing, leave a space where you're going to turn it. After sewing, 
leave one space where you're going to turn it to the right side i finish joining the belts I finish attaching the belts finish attaching the belts now i'm going to put it inside put it inside before i cover up this place So I'm going to pull this fabric to fabric and line it to line it and stitch it down with one inch. After joining together, this is what I have. This is what I have. I'm going to attach the gown parts. I'm going to attach the gown parts. Attach the down parts or oh, attaching the lining, then the zipper. Let me attach the down parts. Attach the down parts. I finish gathering it. Make sure you gather it to your waist measurement. Make sure you gather it to the waist measurement. I finish gathering it. This is what I have. Now I'm going to attach it to the upper side. So I attach it to the upper side. Make sure you get the middle. Get the middle of this. Then you get the middle of these down parts. Get the middle of these down parts. Also get the middle of these parts and mash it down. The right side will be facing the right side. Right side facing right side. We are going to mash it. Mash it down. Mash it. For you, clip it. Let me do it and show you. After joining the gown, this is what we have. This is what I have. The journey begins, and this is the belt. Use your iron, press your iron so that everything will be relaxed. Then this back side, you repeat your zip, fix your zip, and cover it up. This is the end of our tutorial. Please, if you have any question, ask in the comments section. Thank you.